Effat Asaraj is prolific. She makes graphic art and online multimedia presentations all on computers. And she has just finished her second children's book. She lives here with her husband and two-year-old son. I'm fascinated with technology, so I, and I love children, and I write for children, and I like to have a message uh, in my work. So I create the, the children book uh, about Saudi Arabia. So I educate the, ki the Western kid about my country. Effat is doing a master's degree at Georgetown University here in Washington and has just been accepted into the King Abdullah Scholarship Program. When the king came to America a year and a half ago for back surgery, the episode inspired Effat to make one of her most ambitious works. Well, everyone loves uh, King Abdullah. So when he was sick, I, uh, I felt... I want to do something, so I created the, the app called uh, Ibn Abdul Aziz. It's available on the, on the App Store and uh, Google Play. And it's about everything he did and uh, parts of what his famous quotes and also a documentary about him and few parts of, uh, few information about him. And at the end, it's uh, his you can say his uh, audio CV. Effat's first children's book, Fun in the Sand, is intended to teach children from other countries about Saudi Arabia's culture and recent history. Her sister, who is a research fellow in education at the University of London, helped her refine the text. This is the perfect age, the prime age, because when they grow up, they, they build all these prejudices about the, what the media bombards them. So if they are already exposed at this young age to different cultures from all over the world, when they grow up, they already have a background. They already know about this culture, so they're not ignorant about it. So whenever they hear these uh, bad things or even good things in the media that's happening, they can, all, they can make their own ideas, not only just listen to what is being told, to them in the media. Although Effat has worked in the more traditional forms of painting and drawing, she is now fully focused on producing art with computers. What's nice w when you mix the technology with art is that in a few seconds you can try many, uh, you can many, uh, uh, variations. many, yeah, variations and, 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 and it will give you the results quickly. And you can see, is it going anywhere or should I stop and try something else? And uh, uh, even though working on the computer also is time consuming, but at least it's less time than doing it uh, by hand. The artist is at home in both Saudi Arabia and America, having spent part of her childhood in the United States when her father served as a Saudi diplomat here. She hopes to return to the kingdom in a few years. Ifada Saraj likes to use the unique qualities of computers to create her artwork. At the same time, her art has a goal, to introduce the world to the best qualities of her homeland. Burton Bolak, KSA2, Washington.